small modular reactors or SMRs, are being called the future of nuclear energy. In Sweden, this cutting-edge technology is gaining momentum as the country explores innovative solutions to meet rising energy demands. But what exactly are SMRs, and why are they being considered in a country that already boasts one of the most advanced energy systems in the world? This is the story of Sweden's SMR projects, the plans, the challenges, and the potential impact they could have on the nation's energy landscape. Small modular reactors are nuclear reactors designed to generate electricity on a smaller scale compared to traditional nuclear power plants. While conventional reactors typically produce over 1,000 megawatts of electricity, SMRs are designed to generate up to 300 megawatts. Their size isn't their only defining feature, how they're built and deployed is just as important. Unlike large reactors, SMRs are modular. This means that components are manufactured in factories, transported to the site and assembled there. This approach is faster and more cost-efficient, reducing the long construction timelines and risks associated with building large nuclear plants. Safety is another key feature. Many SMRs are designed to shut down automatically in the event of a malfunction, relying on passive cooling systems that don't require human intervention or external power. SMRs can also be deployed in more flexible ways. They can be integrated into existing grids or used to supply power and heat to remote areas or energy-intensive industries. Sweden is known for its diverse and robust energy mix. The country relies heavily on hydropower, wind energy, and nuclear power, and it has been successful in maintaining a stable and reliable energy grid. Currently, six nuclear reactors operate in Sweden, providing about 30% of the country's electricity. But energy demand in Sweden is expected to rise significantly in the coming decades. This increase is driven by the electrification of industries, population growth, and the need for a reliable energy supply to support new technologies. While renewables like wind and solar are expanding, they have limitations. They depend on weather conditions and often require backup systems to maintain a steady power supply. SMRs could help fill this gap, providing a stable and reliable source of electricity that complements renewable energy. In 2022, Vattenfall, Sweden's state-owned energy company, began exploring the possibility of building SMRs at the Ringhaus nuclear power plant on the country's west coast. Ringhaus is already home to two operating reactors, making it an ideal location for SMR development. The existing infrastructure, such as grid connections and access to cooling water, makes adding SMRs more feasible. In addition, the site has a long history of public and local support for nuclear energy, which could help smooth the path for new projects. The feasibility study, completed in late 2023, examined technical, economic, and environmental aspects of the project. While no final decision has been made, Vattenfall's leadership has emphasized the importance of SMRs in meeting Sweden's future energy needs. Carnful Next, a Swedish company specializing in nuclear technology, has proposed an ambitious plan to build up to six SMRs in Valdemarsvik, a coastal municipality in southeastern Sweden. The site spans over 1,300 hectares and offers ideal conditions including access to cooling water and proximity to existing power grids. This project is not just about electricity. Carnful next envisions the SMRs supplying heat to industries that require large amounts of energy, such as steel manufacturing. By doing so, the reactors could help Sweden maintain its industrial competitiveness while reducing reliance on fossil fuels. The economic benefits for the region are also significant. Construction and operation are expected to create hundreds of jobs, providing a long-term boost to the local economy. Another potential SMR site is Studsvik, an industrial area near Nykoping that has been a center for nuclear research since the 1950s. Carnful Next has partnered with Studsvik AB to explore the feasibility of building SMRs on this site. The location's history as a nuclear research hub gives it a unique advantage. Existing infrastructure, combined with decades of expertise, makes Studsvik a strong candidate for future SMR deployment. A feasibility study launched in 2023 examined technical, environmental, and financial factors. By 2024, Carnful Next was preparing for key decisions on permitting and financing, aiming to move the project into its next phase. While the potential of SMRs is exciting, these projects face significant challenges that could affect their deployment in Sweden. 
One of the most significant hurdles is regulatory approval. Nuclear energy is one of the most tightly controlled industries worldwide, and Sweden is no exception. Before any reactor can be built, an exhaustive approval process is required, involving detailed safety assessments, environmental impact studies, and adherence to international and domestic nuclear regulations. This process often spans years, requiring substantial resources and documentation, which can delay projects and inflate overall costs. Even minor revisions to reactor designs can prompt additional regulatory reviews, further complicating the timeline. Another key challenge is the high upfront cost associated with SMR projects. Although smaller and more modular than traditional reactors, SMRs still require substantial investment to cover initial development, factory production, and site installation. For countries like Sweden, where private-public partnerships often play a role, securing sufficient funding is no small feat investors must be convinced of the long-term profitability of these reactors which can be difficult in the face of uncertain energy markets or competing technologies. Public perception is yet another critical factor. In Sweden, nuclear energy has long been a topic of debate, with some viewing it as a reliable energy source and others expressing concerns over safety and waste. Earning the trust of communities near potential SMR sites is essential to avoid opposition that could derail projects. Outreach programs and transparent communication will likely play a pivotal role in addressing public concerns and highlighting safety features of SMRs. Lastly, nuclear waste management remains an ongoing challenge. While Sweden is globally recognized for its advanced nuclear waste handling systems, expanding these capabilities to accommodate waste from new SMRs will require additional infrastructure and long-term planning. Safely managing this waste in a way that reassures the public will be crucial for the success of SMR projects. Despite the challenges, the benefits of small modular reactors are undeniable and could have a transformative impact on Sweden's energy future. One of the most significant advantages is their ability to provide reliable energy. Unlike renewable sources such as wind and solar, which depend on weather conditions, SMRs offer a stable and consistent supply of electricity. This reliability makes them a valuable complement to renewable energy, ensuring that Sweden's grid remains robust and capable of meeting rising demands. The road to SMR deployment in Sweden is still long. Feasibility studies are ongoing, and decisions about financing, construction, and regulatory approval will likely take several more years. However, the groundwork is being laid for a future where SMRs play a key role in Sweden's energy mix. Sweden's SMR projects represent a cautious yet forward-thinking approach to addressing the country's energy needs. By combining cutting-edge technology with careful planning, Sweden is positioning itself as a pioneer in the next chapter of nuclear energy.